Mrs. Kenny's class moves across America. Three years ago, our physical education teacher, Mrs. Heffley, received a grant from the Suffolk Zone for accelerometers. Accelerometers measure 3D movements and distance. Mrs. Heffley wanted to use the accelerometers to motivate students in phys ed and to help meet the Common Core standards for math. Mrs. Heffley was also connecting with some very enthusiastic teachers across the country through social networking. Together with Mrs. Kenny, the idea of a cross-country road trip developed. We began by estimating and adding our miles to figure out how far we had to go and how hard we had to work and exercise to get to Texas. After the first week, we made progress, but we had only traveled as far as East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. We decided to begin wearing the bands all day. Mrs. Kenny added brain breaks to our daily routine. These short breaks from academic work allow us to get up and move. Research says that brain breaks may increase the processing and retention of new material. We also stepped up our movement during recess. Our first stop would be Austin, Texas. So during our social studies block, we began researching Texas. We learned about how the Transcontinental Railroad brought big changes and helped settle the Southwest and many parts of Texas. Before railroads, it took many months to travel across the United States, and when the first railroad was built, it only took about eight days. We learned that the ancient Pueblo people were among the first people to live in the American Southwest, and we learned a little bit about their culture, too. The Rio Grande River is a natural border between Texas and Mexico. The three colors of the Texas flag are red, white, and blue. The red represents bravery, the white is purity, and the blue means loyalty. The single star on the flag earned Texas its nickname, the Lone Star State. The mockingbird is the state bird. We arrived in Texas on December 4th and had a video conference with Coach DeLine's class. We asked his students questions about what they like to do in Texas so that we could send postcards to our parents describing our visit. We are heading to Colorado now to meet our new pen pals in Miss Burrow School. They live in a ski resort community and only go to school four days a week. After Colorado, we head to Minnesota to visit Mr. McCarthy's physical education classes and then to Illinois to visit Mr. Graham's students. When we finally get home, we will have traveled over 5,000 miles. We might be tired, but we will definitely be smarter and more fit.